Well, hello everyone. Crystal here. And Margaret. And we're coming to you from Hallmark, St. John's in Mount Pearl. And today we want to highlight one of our latest favorite finds. That is this little wonder, the Swedish dishcloth. Now, Margaret has been using the Swedish dish, dishcloth, that's a tongue twister, for a little longer than I have because I'm just learning about this. So, Margaret, what do you think about this little wonder? Well, Crystal, I gotta say, I, I too was a little on the fence when I first got them, but boy, they are workhorses in the house. They really are. So while we're talking about them here for the first time today, they aren't new, but Katrina and I learned a whole lot about them on our recent trip to Toronto. You all know we went to Toronto to find you great new stuff, and we figured you wanna know all about them too. So let's tell you, here's what we learned. So Crystal, we just said they're not new. No. They actually go past 5, 10, 15 years. Are they as old as you? They go beyond me. Me? Are they as old as they me? They go beyond you, Margaret. They're as old as dirt. Well, that makes sense for the dishcloth. <laughs> when were they? Like, tell them, where did they come from? So actually, Swedish dishcloth invented by a Swedish engineer in 1949. So it's as old as Newfoundland has been part of Canada. That's correct. And hardly any of us can remember back that far. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Okay, so let's tell you some more things that we learned. Certainly. What's it made out of, Crystal? Well, this little wonder, it's all natural. It's made of 70% cellulose, which is a woody fiber, and 30% cotton. So what comes from nature goes back to nature. What do you mean by that? It is biodegradable, and this little thing, a lot of us are in the composting now, so you can throw this in the compost, and there you are. So not one thing goes to the dump. Not one thing to the garbage. Not even to the recycling. Not even to the recycling. So it really is. It's a wonderful thing. A, such a small footprint. Yes. And, you know, while you and I didn't grow up with that as much, your kids are into it, aren't they? Certainly. I mean, we grew up in a time of convenience and excess, and everything had to be disposable. Oh, I remember the beginning of disposable diapers. Exactly. I really do remember that. And My if I'm just so happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do remember cloth diapers, but I do remember when we switched to uh, disposable diapers and my mother, I mean, we threw out a lot. We throw out in one household, we throw out a lot into our landfills. So that never needs to go to the garbage. That's right. Okay. So there's something you keep saying about it that you really like about it being quick to dry. Yes, that's what I like because using a dishcloth, it, it doesn't dry very fast. So what that happens, it allows the growth of bacteria and bacteria is what causes the, the yicky, icky smell. And I tend to throw out a lot of my dishcloths. For that West dishcloth smell, you can't even stand to put it in the washer, uh, can you? Uh, not at all. So this, what do you do with this, Crystal? What's different? What is different? Well, this little guy, you can actually throw this at the end of the evening when most of us turn on our dishwashers. You can throw, put this in the top rack of your dishwasher. It disinfects and cleans. So it gets washed, it gets disinfected while you sleep. That's right, and What's ready to go in that? the morning. No work at all. No Just work at all. It in the I mean, that's so easy. We could probably teach the husband and the kids to do it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Well, you know what? Kids these days are so interested in sustainability that you probably could teach them that because they don't want to throw stuff away. For That's convenience, right. they do, but in, their, in the back of their minds, they really As we become to. more educated, definitely. Yeah. Now, they tell us this baby lasts for about nine months. Baby, nine months. There's something about that number. <laughs> it is. Anyway, uh, I did not keep mine quite that long, but I did have them for about six months. That's right. And Daily know, use? Uh, pretty much. Um, the dishwasher didn't take the curry stains out of it, so at the end of it, the yellow sort of... I think I'll get a new one. That's right. So there we go. Six months is still a great time. Longer than a paper towel. We'll That's get to right. that in a minute. Okay, Crystal. Now, how much does this baby soak up? 15 times its weight. 15. All right, let's see it go. Let's see what this can so do. So as you can see, actually, this is damp. Uh, when it's dry, it's actually kind of a stiff, almost like a paper cardboard, like texture. And then once it's wet, it softens up just like a dishcloth. So just watch the gray before this goes for a swim I'm going to now. angle this now to see if you can see a little better. And now hold it up. And you can see how much brighter the puffins got yep. just when the rest of it got And wet. you can see it somewhat swell and expand as it's Yeah, it's a bit thicker water. than it was, isn't yep. it? 
Okay. So I'm just going to take this now and I am going to... We're going to squeeze it out on the table and hopefully we won't make too much of a mess. Oh, look at all that water coming out of that baby. That's a lot. And I wrung it out and it's actually quite, quite dry. dry. Okay, let's not spill it on the floor like we did no. when we practiced. And now just look at that baby suck all that water back up. There we are. And you've got pretty much all the water up, haven't you? Pretty much. Give and it guess a ring what? Out. It doesn't drip and there we are. And then I'll just go back for that quick last quick little last wipe over, which you know, you and I do. We wipe over the counter. That was a lot of water. It's <laughs> a lot of water in there. I mean just in everyday use you're not gonna So the second ring out much. it's hardly anything. So it picked most of that off the first go around. Now let's compare that. Because one of the things that we're told is that replaces 15 rolls of paper towel. Ladies and gentlemen, that's that stack there. Let me just zoom out a little. Because it goes right down to the floor. So you can compare that to your... And I picked that paper towel up last night, and I can tell you that I paid about $40 for that. And how much is our little Swedish dish cloth? It's just $6. So even just in terms of a, a money-saving thing, it's huge. Yep. So I wonder how the paper towel will do compared to the Swedish dish cloth. Well, let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Okay. I'm going to get some paper towel ready because um, we'll, go with, we'll go with three sections. Okay. Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. And I'm here to catch the water before it goes <laughs> overboard. I'm going to wring that out just like I did the first go around. Okay. Let's see how the paper towel does. All right. Here you ready? go. Ready? Okay, give that a little wipe around there and see what there it does. So, so it's, it's pretty still, much at its capaci capacity. It's really just shoving the water around now, isn't now, it? Now I, I still have a puddle, and it's definitely not soaking anything else up. So give that a ring out. Well, you got a bit out of it, all right. A little bit, yeah, but... You still got a puddle. I'm still able to splash it. So even if and I wanted to go back with the... Second time, you can't get it on... Oh, look, that's toast. So... I'm not getting anything. You're back not getting up anything. Here. Now, what does your Swedish dish cloth do? It's going to clean up what the paper towel what could the paper not. Paper towel couldn't. Here we are. And okay. then this thing just goes in the garbage. Garbage, and then the landfill. There we this go. This one, back to the dishwasher. Back to the dishwasher, <laughs> Crystal. This has been amazing. I've learned so much that I didn't know before. And what are you going to put in your kitchen? The Swedish dish cloth. Oh, okay. and we forgot to say the designs. Oh, the designs. We've got teacup and teapot, puffin, which you've already met, kitchen, kiss the cook, this is my happy place for the cabin, and the cat. And there is a dog coming, too. There's more designs coming. This is just and what came in the first And are they coming in seasonal designs They as well? are going to be here for Christmas and summer and all of that. And so you can, you know, decorate your kitchen. That's right. Um, and they're also great in the bathroom, great in the car. Your chrome just shines beautifully with them. Um, the it's multi-purpose. Down by the dock in the summertime at the boat. Lots of great places to use your Swedish dishcloth. And so, currently we have the dual pack. So yes. eleven ninety nine for two, for which two. is $6 a cloth. Exactly. So we'll say bye-bye for now. Time to get the store open. That's right. And we'll see you soon. We hope you add Swedish dishcloths. To, to your, your life. life. To your life. Indeed. Have a great day, everybody. Bye now.